I'm doing something today I've never done before, and it may be completely stupid, but I'm crabbing solo. First crabbing venture of the season. You know I love to do it this time of year. Got out here nice and early. Already baited up my nets and already got them set. Now I'm letting them soak just a couple of minutes and I'm gonna begin my first run. This has high cluster potential. <laughs> Wish me luck, I'm definitely gonna need it. All right, three absolute essentials for crabbing. Gloves, otherwise your hands get absolutely torn up. Tongs, for obvious reasons. You drop crabs on the floor of the boat, it's a lot easier to pick them up with tongs. And a bucket. You don't want to have to open the ice chest with every net. So you dump the crabs into the bucket, and then once you're done with your run, transfer them to the ice chest. So I'm gonna put my gloves on, head back to the start of my line, see if we got any crabs. All right, you can tell it's my first crabbing trip of the year, because I did something dumb. Ran to the start of my line, but we got a falling tide coming this way. So I don't wanna run the nets with the tide. I wanna run against the tide. So as I'm pulling up the corks, I'm getting closer to the net rather than dragging it against the tide. So I'm gonna pick up my last net that I dropped first and work my way back to the beginning. Not ideal. I should have started dropping them here and gone that way, but it is what it is at this point. It doesn't really matter. Let's see how this goes. This could, this could be a disaster. Skunk. Net number one is a skunk. It hadn't really been soaking long, so that's not a big surprise. Net number two is a skunk. All right, beautiful crab. There we go. There we go. Look at that guy, that's a good crab. Ooh, beautiful female. Oh, there we go, almost lost him. Big number one male. Got a knot in this net. That's well, why you always got to keep one spare ready. So we got this one here. We're filling this gap. Oh, two beautiful crabs. My goodness. Look at these monsters. That net was heavy. All right, so that's 13 feet. The crabs might be in a little bit deeper water today. I got nets scattered from 13 feet to 6 feet. As you can see, this tide is ripping. Super hard falling tide. That's really good for crabbing. I love a hard tide. Harder the better. This, this net's in 15 feet. That's a little deep. We're going to hold him up, transfer him somewhere else. I got 20 feet of rope on my nets, so we can handle 15 feet, but in this swift current, sometimes they get shifted in the deeper water and then you lose your net. This net's in only four feet of water. We'll see if there's any crabs up this shallow. Nope, we're gonna move him. All right, really good first run. Very happy with that. Some beautiful crabs in here. One thing I always like to do is put out a test net that's a little bit away from my other nets. So that's what that is. We're gonna see what he does. Now it's time to make the next run. All right, run number two begins. Oh, beautiful, beautiful crab. Oh, goodness. All right, we're gonna have to leave this one in. He is tangled. We'll have to deal with him in a little bit. 
I absolutely love crab and I miss this so much. Just the absolute best thing to do in the summer. Definitely harder by yourself though. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, two beautiful crabs. Two beauties. Oh, there we go. Not the biggest. Definite keeper though. Whew, that chicken's looking a little rough. Oh, there we go. We got robbed. That sucks. That sucks. Hate losing chicken because you know it didn't come out on its own. It came out because the crab pulled it out. Oh, I've lost another one. Two in a row. All right, we got some maintenance to do on those. That's why I much prefer the clips. Some of mine don't have clips any longer, just have the string. That's how most crab nets come. I hate the string. Love the clips. Well, there's a small one, but a keeper. Fell off in the boat, which is why we got the tongs. Oh, goodness. I cannot believe the size of these crabs. This is as good as it gets. This is awesome. Well, we got lucky on that one. Got a crab. Even though we got stuck on the motor. Good thing it was a neutral. Not a big one, but big enough. Oh, nice double. Double. Nice big double. Well, one big, one not so big. Oh, look at this, a catfish. What a disaster. He got tangled in the net. That's a first. I don't think I've ever had that happen. I have to clean that up in just a minute. Oh, that's a baby. First baby. Other day, first rail dumper. What I'm discovering today is that crabs are definitely not in shallow water. They're in the 10 to 12 foot range. Water temp is 81, which isn't really all that hot for this time of year, but the fish are definitely deeper. Not the fish, the crabs. <laughs> I'm crabbing today, Todd, not fishing. This one feels heavy. Oh my goodness, look at the size of this crab. Holy Toledo, that is a giant, giant crab. Good Lord. That's one of the biggest crabs I've ever caught. That is an absolute monster. Just filling up the bucket. I'd take a dozen of those, that'd be nice. Oh, there we go. Two keepers. This one's holding on for dear life. Get the bucket. Come on, dude, let go. Another one. Totally tangled. We'll get him in a minute. Oh, two giant, well, one giant, one decent. Oh, 
Oh, look at this. Look at this. Another catfish. I've never had that happen. And it's happened twice today. Well, not a big one, but it's a keeper. Marginal, but we're going to keep him. Heavy net, small crab. All right, that was definitely our worst run of the morning. It is very, very clear as to why. The tide's beginning to peter. We caught the tail end of the falling tide, and now it's about to switch. And you know, crabs are a whole lot like fish. You know, if you're catching good fish, and then all of a sudden you start catching a bunch of small ones, the tide's about to quit. So we should catch some at the beginning of the rise. Don't know how long that's gonna take. I may be done before then, I don't know. I'm pretty exhausted. So definitely where y'all are doing it by yourself. But I do love it, particularly when they're biting. They're definitely biting today. Good thing with crabbing, I typically get done early, get off the water before it gets too hot. Not only that, but you're constantly moving. So you always kind of have a breeze, even though there is a little bit of a breeze today anyway. It's a great thing to do in the summer, particularly if you have kids. You know, it's obvious where I'm crabbing, right here along the Great Wall in Chalmette. It's one of my favorite areas. I do crab in other areas, but this one typically produces. Some days it doesn't, but most days it does. And the crabs here, as you see today, can be really nice. Although I gotta say the average catch today is the nicest I've ever caught here. Really, really beautiful crabs. All right, time to do another run. I think this one's not gonna be good because the tide's pretty much petered out. But there may be a few crabs gnawing on our chicken right now. Let's go see. Oh, that's a beautiful one. And a baby. We'll get rid of the baby. We're gonna keep the monster. Well, that's good to see. That's a good start to the run. All right, what a terrible run. We caught one monster to start with and one baby. It started strong, so I thought it'd be okay, but definitely that dead tide is killing us. All right, I switched around. I'm gonna pick him up from the opposite direction now with this tide having changed, or hopefully changed, or in the process of changing. All right, I just completed that run. Caught one baby that I threw back. This dead tide's killing me. But you know what? I got plenty of crabs. So I'm gonna call it a day. This will be my last run. I'm gonna pick them up on this run. No doubt in my mind, these crabs will turn back on with this rising tide. I don't really need any more. I got enough. Super successful more and some really beautiful crabs. Get on out here and do this, particularly if you got young kids or home for the summer. I see a boat that just came, they started dropping nets. Unfortunately, I got out here a little bit late. You really want to come early, super important. Best crabbing's always maybe the first hour, hour and a half of the day. Doesn't mean you won't catch them after that, absolutely you will. I feel like when this tide starts rising, crabbing will get a lot better. But that furious bite is always first thing. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Marshman Masson channel on YouTube. If you know somebody else who might be into crabbing, might like the video, please share it with them. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Masson.